dear students welcome to the lecture series on the subject botany taxonomic literature in this lecture we will be discussing first of all the basic concept of what taxonomic literature is secondly that will be much more detailed component of this lecture we will try to describe the various sources of taxonomic literature so let us start with the first component that is what is this taxonomic literature dear students in earlier lectures you might have heard about the word taxonomy yes it is a scientific discipline a basic discipline of biological sciences that deals with the discovery description and classification of living organisms the discipline involves the essential activities of scientific identification and nomenclature of living organisms this identification and nomenclature is crucial for the scientific communication of biodiversity throughout the world since the time of carolus linnaeus who is regarded as the father of taxonomy a lot of scientific literature has been published that deals with discovery description identification nomenclature and the classification of biodiversity such a huge scientific literature which has been published in books floras journals or even in the form of indexes it is an essential tool for the advancement of theory and practice of taxonomy this huge body of literature is referred to as taxonomic literature now the second part that is the source of taxonomic literature which will be much more detailed the various forms of taxonomic literature can be discussed under the five main headings number first indexes to the plant names and illustrations second bibliographies indexes and guides to the literature of plant taxonomy third comprehensive taxonomic works which are of broader scope fourth floras monographs and revisions and the fifth and last one that is supporting taxonomic literature let us start with first that is indexes to the plant names and illustrations what is an index an index is an alphabetical listing of taxa taxa means any taxonomic group with reference to the publication when this description of a particular plant was first published in a particular publication say a journal this index provides references to the original publication of names the scientific names and placement of a particular plant in a classification scheme these indexes form the basis of a taxonomic library and are essential for scientific identification nomenclature and classification some of the major indexes which have been produced are like these the first one and the famous one is index kivenensis or its short form is ik this index kivenensis is by far the most important and comprehensive reference tool and it has been compiled at Royal Botanical Gardens Q this index kivenensis lists the generic names and binomials of seed plants in an alphabetical order for the index kivenensis in fact it was charles darwin who provided funds for the initial indexing effort and it attempted to capture all the names back to species plantrum of Linnaeus that is 1753 Darwin at that time realized the great need for a list of plant names with their bibliographic details of where they were originally published since the time of Darwin generations of biologists have found the index kivenensis an indispensable source for botanical research it was first published in the form of two original basic volumes from 1893 to 1895 and these two volumes covered the names published between the time period of 
1753 to 1885. Then after every 5 years, regular supplements of index Kivenenses were published. The basic two volumes of index Kivenenses contained nearly 4 million scientific names. Some 6000 additional names are added annually and hard copy supplements are published after every 5 years. The most recent being the 20th supplement which was published in 1996. Since 1996, the index is not published in after 5 years interval but annually under the title Q index. The whole index Kivenenses now totaling over 1 million records is global in coverage and lists names from the first edition of Linnaeus's species plantrum to those being published now. The index Kivenenses, the basic bibliographic details are included for each name and for later records the year of publication is also included. Since 1971 records of infraspecific names of plants that is below the species like subspecies have been also included in this index. And since 1997, details of type specimens have been also recorded. After index Kivenenses, the most famous index is Gray Index. The Gray Index was compiled at the Gray Herbarium, Harvard University, and it lists all new names and new combinations of names of the vascular plants from the New World. It commenced its publication in the year 1893 and published 10 volumes up to the 1967. A two volume supplement covering the literature from 1967 to 1977 was published by Hall in the year 1978. The Gray Index lists names of genera, species and infraspecific taxa. As we know the botanical names are in the Latin language that is why all the Latin names published for new world vascular plants since the year 1885 have been included and are arranged alphabetically by genus. In some way the gray index has commonality with the index Kivenenses because both are involved with the names of taxonomic groups. In addition to these two main indexes there is one more index by the name of Australian Plant Names Index. This Australian Plant Names Index records names for all the Australian plants compiled since the year 1973. The APNI, the short form for Australian Plant Names Index includes many names that were not included either in index Kivenenses or in grey index. In recent years, the APNI has also incorporated the names for cultivars which have been derived from the Australian flora. Information available from APNI includes scientific plant names, author details, original publication details, typification details, state distribution in Australia and other relevant comments and notes. One more index is by the name of Index Pelicum. This index provides the names of original publication of generic and species names of ferns. Ferns is a group of plants. It was published first by Christensen from the year 1906 to 1965 in 12 different parts. Since 2004, the index pelicum covering the ferns and incorporating lycophytes published after 1960 are now included in the index Kivenensis. One more index is Index Londonensis. It is basically an index of illustrations of vascular plants, not the names but illustrations of vascular plants published from 1753 to 1935 and it was compiled at Royal Botanic Gardens Q by staff. It is arranged alphabetically by genus and species. The names used in Index Londonensis are those associated with the illustrations. For the information on illustrations published post 1935, 
There is one more index by the name of the flowering plant index of illustrations and information compiled by Isaacson in the year 1979 that can be also used. One more index is by the name of index nominum genericorum. It is basically a compilation of generic names published for plants covered as per the rules of International Code of Botanical Nomenclature. After discussing these indexes, let us now discuss the second part of the source of taxonomic literature that is bibliographies and guides to the literature of plant taxonomy. As we know, lot of research work is published throughout the world. There is always a need for supporting bibliographies or indexes or the guides that can consolidate this huge taxonomic information. These help in tracking down the information about a particular taxonomic group covering a certain period of time. For most bibliographic aid is biological abstracts. Its publication was started way back in 1929. It is a bi-weekly publication listing abstracts of papers appearing in scientific journals. Each issue of biological abstracts contains author, biosystematic and cross subject indexes as well as biosystematic index arranged by division, class and family. The second bibliographic aid is by the name of Fregnum Vegetae Bio. It is a selective guide to older classical botanical publications. It covers full bibliographic details of literature that is helpful in searching the type material, priority of names and dates of publication. It also includes concise bibliographies on the lives and works of important plant taxonomists. It was originally published in the year 1967 by Staff Lew. It is under constant revision with three supplements of the enlarged second edition published between the years 1992 to 97. One more bibliographic aid is Q Records of Taxonomic Literature. It is published again from the Royal Botanic Gardens Q. It started its publication in the year 1971 and is an annual publication which lists all the taxonomic literature published in periodicals, books and papers. The coverage of this bibliographic aid is worldwide and entries are arranged in systematic groups. One more bibliographic aid is Index to American Botanical Literature. It was started in 1886. This index appears in each issue of a journal Bulletin Tory Botanical Garden. The listings are arranged alphabetically by author under the subject groups. The index permits a review of all the papers written by an author. One more aid is index to author of plant names. As we know, the scientific names are given by different taxonomists. There has to be an index whereby all the scientific names along with their authors have to be published. This monumental work was published by Brumet and Powell in 1992 from Royal Botanical Gardens. It is basically an index of authors of plant scientific names. It includes author of plant names belonging to angiosperms, gymnosperms, pteridophytes, bryophytes, algae, fungi and fossil plants. In this we have full names, dates of birth and death when known, recommended abbreviations and groups in which names have been published or given for each of the authors. One more aid, bibliographic aid is index to plant chromosome number. It is basically an index to plant chromosome numbers which is maintained by the Missouri Botanical Garden, St. Louis. The IPCN which is the short form or index to plant chromosome numbers it aims to extract and index all the original plant chromosome numbers of naturally occurring and cultivated plants published throughout the world. Another bibliographic aid is Index Hominensis. It is an alphabetic listing of plant distribution maps. That means it is concerned with the phytogeography. It was edited by Trollow and commenced its publication in the year 1969. This is followed by one more bibliographic aid, what we call as Biosystematic Literature Index. It was published from the year 1945 to 1964. 
by two authors by the name of Solbrig and Gadila. It is a handy source of selected references to literature that deals with biosystematics. Then we have few guides also. The famous one is Geographical Guide to the Floras of the World. This guide is an basically an index to older floras and floristic studies published by Black and Atwood. Its first volume was published in the year 1942 and then second volume in 1961. Then we have one more guide to the floras by the name of Guide to Standard Floras of the World. It is basically an annotated geographically arranged bibliography of the principal floras, enumerations, checklists and chorological maps of different areas. Its first edition was published in the year 1984 and second edition very recently in the year 2001 by David Froden who is working at the Royal Botanical Gardens Q. Then we have one more index by the name of Index Herbariorum or short form IH. It is basically a directory of major herbaria of the world and associated staff. The first six editions of Index Herbariorum were published by the International Association for Plant Taxonomy in the Netherlands from the year 1952 to 1974. Initially, Patricia Holmgren, who is working in the New York Botanical Garden, edited the Index Herbariorum till the publication of Volume 8. Very recently, in the year 2008, Barbara Thayers, who is working as the director of New York Botanical Garden Herbarium, became the editor of Index Herbariorum. For any herbarium to be registered with this index herbariorum, it must have physical location, web address, contents like number and types of specimens, history and names, contact information and areas of expertise of associated staff. Only those plant collections that are permanent scientific repositories are included in the index herbariorum. Each institution which is registered under index herbariorum is assigned a permanent unique identifier in the form of four to eight letter code, a practice that dates from the founding of Index Herbarium in the year 1935. For example, in the Kashmir University, we have a herbarium by the name of Cash. It has a code of KASH Cash. It is located in the Center for Biodiversity and Taxonomy. World over, there are about 3,400 herbaria which have about 10,000 associated curators. Collectively, the world's herbarium contain an estimated 3.5 billion specimens, huge collection, that document the Earth's plant diversity collected over the past 400 years. Then we have few dictionaries also. The famous one is Dictionary of the Flowering Plants and Ferns. This is basically a handy reference for checking the spellings, synonyms and number of species in a genus. It was originally published by J.C. Wills and then the 8th edition was revised by Irish Shaw which appeared in the year 1973. Then we have one more dictionary what is called as the plant book. It has been published by David Marbury and is an essential reference text for studying or growing or writing about plants. With over 20,000 entries, the comprehensive dictionary provides information on every family and genus of seed bearing plants, including the gymnosperms and pernus and club moss. Now, this plant book is running in its third edition in the year 2008. It provides taxonomic details and uses with English and other vernacular names. It has added more than 1650 additional new entries including their ecologically and economically important genres. Now, the third source of taxonomic literature is comprehensive taxonomic works of broader scope. As we know, there is no single source of literature that treats all the known plants of the world. In other words, there is no world flora. However, we have several important comprehensive taxonomic works that include identification keys, descriptions and classifications of plants. The foremost is the Prodomus Systematis Naturalis Regni Vegetabilis. It was published in about 17 volumes from the year 1824 to 1873 by A. F. Dickendole. The Prodomus was intended to treat 
all the species of seed plants but in actuality it covers only the digots although the title prodromus indicates that the candol considered it only a preliminary treatment but it still remains the only comprehensive taxonomic revision for many genera then we have the famous work of bentham hooker by the title genera plantar it was published in three volumes from the year 1862 to 1883 it provides general descriptions for seed plants and these descriptions were prepared from live plants rather than the literature originally this work was written in latin and it is still a valuable reference for classifications between the taxonomic ranks of family and section then we have one more work by the name of genera phallicum it comprises the genera of ferns and was published by copland in the year 1947 the ferns are arranged in this work in a phylogenetic sequence and descriptions keys references to the literature are provided then we have a publication by angler and printer what is known as die naturalin plantsin familien it ran into about 23 volumes and published from the year 1887 to 1915 this monumental work contains keys descriptions for all the families and genera of plants from algae to angiosperms it was basically written in german language wherein we have well illustrations and contains extensive literature citations we have one more taxonomic work that was published by arthur cronquist by the title an integrated system of classification of flowering plants it was published in the year 1968 and it provides comprehensive system of classification for the angiosperms then we have one more monumental work by a russian taxonomist arman takhtajan in the year 1966 by the title system at phylogenia magnolia phytorum it was originally written in russian language and it provides an evolutionary system of classification for the angiosperms now we have the fourth source of literature what we call as floras monographs and revisions what is a flora a flora is an inventory a documentation of the plants in a particular geographical area then depending on the scope and area covered flora can be categorized as local flora what is a local flora it covers a limited geographical area usually a district city a valley mountain range or an island some of the examples of local flora are flora pulvama flora pirpanchal range flora of upper lidar valley flora of valley flora of andamans then we have regional flora it includes a larger geographical area usually a large continental area or phytogeographical region the classical examples are the flora of british india flora of ussr flora iranica often we have seen the geographical coverage of flora is for a country for example flora of china flora of india flora of pakistan then we have third category of floras what we call as continental flora it covers the entire continent the classical examples are flora europea flora australensis or even the flora of north america in addition to flora we have the manuals what is a manual it covers specialized groups of plants and is more exhaustive than a flora a manual includes identification keys description and glossary the classical examples of manuals are a manual of cultivated plants by bally that was published in the year 1949 then we have checklist it basically provides a list of plant species growing in a particular area the list includes only the scientific names along with abbreviated diagnostic characters and local distribution then we have monographs and revisions a monograph is a comprehensive taxonomic treatment of a group of plants usually genus or a family it provides all the available taxonomic data about a particular group of plants some classical examples of monographs are the genus creeps by babcock in the year 1947 or very recently the genus aralia by chunwen in the year 2011 what is a revision revision is less detailed than a monograph and it differs from 
primarily in its degree of scope and completeness. A revision may treat an entire family or genus or may account for only a subgroup of a genus restricted to a particular geographical region. It provides a minimum of introductory material and a synoptic literature review. Some classical examples of taxonomic revisions are a revision of Taberni Montana by Levin Berg that was published in the year 1991. Now the fourth source of taxonomic literature is what we call as supporting taxonomic literature. It includes the scientific journals. Normally in the taxonomy it takes decades to complete the taxonomic work such as already mentioned floras, monographs and revisions. That is why the journals are the medium, immediate medium where the ongoing taxonomic research such as discovery or record of new species from a particular region can be published. Some of the specialized taxonomic journals are Taxon. Taxon is published by International Association for Plant Taxonomy. Then Q Bulletin. It is a journal published by Q Botanic Gardens. Then we have Systematic Botany. The journal like Annals of Missouri Botanical Garden. Nordic Journal of Botany. Plant Systematics and Evolution, Britonia, Botanical Journal of Linnean Society, or even in India, we have the taxonomic journals like Bulletin Botanical Survey of India that is published by Botanical Survey of India, Kolkata, or we have a journal by the name of Redia that is published by a society called as Indian Association of Angiosperm Taxonomy. All these journals provide the form where the Taxonomists publish their immediate results. In addition to the journals, we have illustrations. What are these illustrations? These are basically the graphical details of the plant pots, which are often published along with the text in the floras. One more supporting taxonomic literature is what we call as flower guides. Dear students, we all know the facet of botany that appeals or attracts to a lay person to the general public is the recognition and naming of flowers which are grown in surrounding parks, gardens and natural areas such as forests, meadows. More increasingly we see that citizens they enjoy in learning the names of prominent elements of the local flora. Over the recent past we have seen significant reduction in the cost of color printing. That is why a large number of popular flower guides with color photographs have become available. Some of the Famous examples of these flower guides are Flowers of the Himalaya that was published by Pollen and Incidenten first in 1984 then it is supplement in 1997. This is one of the flower guides for learning about the flowers that grow in Himalayas. And dear students, with this we come to the end of today's lecture that was on the topic taxonomic literature. For today, I will take your leave now. Goodbye.